I think as the budget goes, it's probably what was expected. Uh, it's not very realistic to expect in this political scenario a very aggressive or far-reaching budget. So I think uh, the finance minister, considering the political scenario, has done uh, well. Um, as far as the sector goes, there hasn't been too much, but uh, you know, health sector has been consist slowly but consistently been given you know a few SOPs. Uh, what is exciting this time has been the fact that there's been this uh, 5,000 rupee exemption uh, on, uh, on preventive health care, which has actually very far-reaching effects. Uh, of late, there's been a lot of focus on non-communicable diseases and you know, prevention being better than cure. So I think uh, long-standing, uh, long this is uh, an excellent move. Uh, some of the things which I thought were really good in the budget is that you know there's been a distinct focus of uh, allocating about 50, 50 lakh crores towards building of infrastructure and 50% of that coming from the PPPs, uh, which will really help because I don't think you know the government by itself can do as much as required for a growth-related economy. Uh, the infrastructure debt funding is is uh, an excellent move, and uh, you know more and more the service sector should actually be in, be given access to infrastructure debt funding, which I think uh, will happen. It's probably there in the fine print, uh, and it hasn't been clearly articulated, so it's a bit of a gray area. Uh, there's a lot in the skill development area, which um, you know benefits the healthcare as an industry because we're actually the largest uh, employers of of skilled personnel. And I think the skill development initiatives have been uh, extremely good. Another, you know, very small move, but which is again a green shoot, is the fact that the Rajiv Gandhi equity scheme has been launched. Uh, it will truly unlock value in the future. And if it's handled well, I think it's a brilliant lever for really uh, using the kind of resource which has been locked up into a country of one billion people. And uh, this would be a brilliant lever for the future. And I, you know, I'm sure that uh, it has far reaching effects. So we must uh, really laud the finance minister for, you know, you know, looking for opportunities to see that the future is kind of uh, very secure. There have been some focus on, uh, you know, women's health, women related schemes, trying to uh, give women more empowerment. And I think in a country like ours, that is very vital and uh, very important. And I think some sort of you know, financial help for uh, women in small-scale industries will probably, again, help the economy to a large extent. But I'd like to close by saying that you know, a healthy um, uh, economic prosperity is directly proportional to the health of a nation. And in a way, there's a sense of disappointment that you know, health hasn't been looked at to the kind of extent it should have been looked at because it has many impacts, something as small as medical tourism, but you know, it really uh, promotes the kind of work which is uh, happening uh, for the industry in, in, in this area. And I think that uh, does give a sense of disappointment that you know, enough hasn't been done in this space. Uh, we have got some sort of infrastructure status, but it's, it's still not uh, you know, as exciting as what, has been, what was given earlier to the, either the software or roads, et cetera. And I think that is something we'll keep trying for and looking forward to. But uh, thank you.